What is up, everybody? Let's make a woodpecker toy today. This thing is something I've bought for people for years. It's only like $3.99, but I can't find them anymore. I'm not sure if they still have them, but they don't have them at Phillips Toy Mart, where I buy a lot of toys. So I thought we might just make one. This is going to slide down a stick and make kind of a back and forth pecking motion as it goes. So we've drawn it out and we're cutting it out here with this scroll saw or whatever it's called. Going to chamfer these edges. That's what you call rounding them off, I think is the way you say that. Woodpeckers are awesome. They do not get headaches. Right here, I'm working on this dude's beak a little bit. Their tongues are twice as long as their beak. Their tongue is so long that they wrap around their brain. Up on the inside, the tongue goes around a woodpecker's brain. It has to have that room to go back in. It's pretty cool to me. And right here, we're carving out some wings. I'm going to speed this up, but carving takes forever and sanding takes twice that long. And once you get done sanding stuff, it still needs to be sanded in about a thousand places. So sand like crazy. Speaking of sand, some woodpeckers in the desert. Oh, by the way, here I'm making the spring for us. Some woodpeckers in the desert, they will eat the brains out of other birds. They grab them, peck into their brains, and eat the brains because there's not a lot of water around. And that's kind of creepy and awesome. Zombie woodpeckers. So here we're making the little thing that's going to slide up and down the stick. This was my first go at it. I didn't realize that that is way too wide or thick. I don't know which way. You'll see how I have to cut it in half. Because that just wants to slide on the stick. It doesn't want to grab and make the bird move. See? Yep. It's just a slide. That is not going to work. So I have to cut that in half. Fix the little pedestal here. Shout out to David Brotherton for this piece of cedar. Thank you, my man. Let me get my hairy arm out of the way. All right. You can see I've cut that thing in half now, so it'll do a better job kind of bouncing down there at 956. Let's see how he works now. Go, little fella, like the wind. Still kind of rough. Takes a lot of, I mean, it's real, it's a fine line between it working really well and not working good at all. But I'm going to put some glue and epoxy on this thing. So it's going to get a little bit tighter on there and it's going to work better as we go. But that's not too bad. We're going to seal this baby so we can paint it. I use super glue. I almost pass out every time I do. Time for paint. You got to thin that paint down just a little bit whenever you're using an airbrush. You know, um, my man that was the painter who painted Happy Trees. I know you're yelling his name right now. I always have trouble remembering stuff. What is his name? You know what I'm talking about. He always started with white. You, If you don't start with a white base, everything turns to mud no matter what. And it is just a mess. So somehow I didn't get video of me painting his wings and stuff, but it wasn't much. It's just a little bit of black on the sides there. Got his beak painted. We'll get him all fixed up here. Yep, he's got... More bounce to the ounce. Here comes the epoxy that we're going to put on the outside of him. It makes it shine and kind of keeps everything 100%. Got to mix this stuff up and the magic happens. It kind of warms up and changes molecular structure. Then you paint this stuff on good and thick with wonderful camera work. After you do that, you got to get him on this rotating thing. That I made this one my very own self that I use. It's made from a uh, hockey stick, and the motor is the rotisserie motor out of a barbecue grill. 
and it'll just rotate real slow like that all night long. Overnight's usually pretty good. This That epoxy is like 30-minute epoxy, but you want it to be there for a long time. Hey, there's a finger surfboard still on there. But it'll rotate like this overnight, and it'll cure up real nice. This is the next day, I believe. You can tell because I've cleaned up everything in here. There he is, all cured up. Let's see how he goes now. Oh, yeah, little mister. Working pretty well there. We will accept that, I think. I taped my two remote controls there together because I kept losing them all the time. And now I can lose them both at once. That's working pretty good. Let's see him go long distance here. Oh, yeah. Not too shabby. I love these things. I don't know why. I could watch them for hours. Sometimes I do, as a matter of fact. Added a little feather on top of his head. I don't know why it makes me smile. Made a couple of more in the process that are smaller. That's them. Hope you enjoyed it.